there year eight uh, this is a video um, to teach you how to make a fusion 8-bit character so an 8-bit character will look like the Mario mushroom here uh, or the dog in this picture so we do 8-bit characters because they're very simple to make and they're quick and it gives you a few of the uh, fundamental skills that you'll need to do other stuff with this program Righto, so to make an 8-bit character, the first thing you need to do is find a picture that you would like to use. Now, it's probably best to go simple. If it's very, very complicated, it's going to be too hard to actually make. So little characters like this or this, or maybe these, they're probably as complicated as you want. Once it gets more detailed than that, it can become a little difficult to actually make. You could make it, so that one's probably way too difficult. You could make it, but um, it just means it might take a little bit longer. But yeah, so what you do, Google 8-bit characters, 8-bit art, whatever you think, uh, and find a picture that you think looks good. I'm going to do the Mario mushroom again. So here's the picture that I want to use. Double tap or right click, save image as, and save it in a spot that you know um, it will be safe. Okay, then you go to Fusion. I think I've said this before. Uh, actually, I haven't said this before. Up the, little, up the top here, you've got a little plus symbol. That plus symbol opens a new design. So that's like a fresh document. Uh, the very first thing you want to do is find your picture and put it into the document, put it into this file. So what you're going to do is go up the top here. There's a little symbol that looks like a picture. It's called a canvas. Click on that. When you click on that, the option comes up to select an image and select a face. So click on the image in the image, select your picture. Then the next option is to select one of the three faces. You could put it on the bottom, although I think it looks better on either the side, either one of the, the right side or the left side. So I'm just gonna go on this side. All right, this little, uh, this little tool here can help you drag it out and make it larger or smaller. So that little tool's like a uh, curved edge of the square. You can pull it out. I might make it bigger actually, a little bit bigger. And once, you, once, it is, once it's at the size you think looks good, click OK. All right, so here's my picture. You might notice this, uh, this little icon appeared, canvas. You can click the eye on and off in the canvas to see it and hide it, which might become handy later on. All right, now to actually start to make the object. First thing we do is click Create a New Sketch. Click a face, and you want to select the same face that you drew the picture in. And for this one, down the bottom here, I've got snap to grid. Uh, there's a little symbol here called grids and snap, grid and snaps. Turn off snap to grid, because it'll just make things a little easier. Right, start by tracing. What I'm going to try and do is do this as quickly as possible, just so the video is not overly boring. Uh, you, once you do yours, can spend a little more time to get a little neater, but yeah. All right, one of the things I'm trying to avoid is clicking that tick symbol, because when I click the tick symbol, it ends my drawing. If you do that, it's no biggie, but it just means you'll have to start a new drawing and make sure you select the point where you stopped. All right. right almost there. Trying to go quickly. All right. If this works, what will happen? When I go from this circle to this circle, is that when I tap, the orange, the picture becomes orange, 
I think it did, but you can't really see. So if I click the canvas on and off, you can see that it's become orange. So that's good. That means, uh, that means all of these little lines and things are connected. If your picture is an orange on the inside, it means you might have to zoom in and just make sure there's no gaps in your drawing. Right, so I could probably turn the canvas on. I'll turn the canvas on. Okay, my drawing's good. Finish sketch. Okay, I finished sketch. And uh, you might notice when I curse over the picture, it becomes highlighted. So I click on that. Go up the top to extrude and pull it back. And the amount you want to pull it back or forward is up to you. Maybe just a little bit. Uh, minus 25. That will be different for you if you don't set the sizes. So yeah. All right. Click OK. Right. So I can get my this little cube up the top corner here is called a view cube. So I can rotate that around and look at what I've made. Okay. So I've made the very outline of the shape. And what I'm going to do now is select the orange of the face and push that into the image so that's a little bit indented. So to do that, what I need to do, select the picture I just created. Select the, it's called a body actually. Select the front face of the body, so that's highlighted blue. Click a new sketch there. Okay, do exactly the same thing. But this time I'm going to trace just the orange. Ah, so I think I made a mistake, which is good because I can show you what I was talking about earlier. So I get it looks like I've drawn the picture correctly, except there's a few points that are slightly off. So I'll just try and finish what I've got here. Okay, I finish. All right, what I can do now is if I click the canvas off, so there was a, I thought I traced this line but obviously not, so I'll go back and trace it. I thought I traced the bottom, but that didn't work either, so I'll go back and trace it. I might actually press escape. I'll delete that line to begin with, okay. What has happened? Just double checking. So my pitch is still not. Uh, actually, it might it might work? Let's go finish sketch. Okay, it will work if I highlight if I zoom over it, and the whole object is selected. If it doesn't work. You might just have to go back, start again, press Control Z to zoom back. Okay, there's the there's the orange face. I'm going to select extrude in the top left and move it back. I might go minus six. All right, and you see here, um, we talked about this in class, but these operations uh, do different things. If it says join this object that I'm pulling and pushing. If I pull it out, it will join. If I push it in the opposite direction, it goes red. That means it will cut. So yeah, I want it to cut, so that's good. Click OK. All right, so I've got the face of the magic mushroom. If I turn the picture on and off, I can see how close I've got it. So it's a little bit off in places, but that's fine. All right, the next thing to do is uh, the red of the mushroom. I'm going to trace all the red at once. So I'll do that right now. Right. If you get caught, press escape as many times as you can. Uh, press escape, escape, escape. That will go back and uh, just make things fresh. Okay, so now I'm going to click on the face that I just created. 
uh, create a sketch. Zoom in. I get my line tool again. All right, let's start here. All right, I'm going as fast as possible. Uh, all right. I just realized I wasn't talking and it must be boring. Okay, tracing as quick as I can. That's a little shallow, but whatever. Okay, going around. Almost done. Okay, I click finish sketch, finish sketch. Grab my uh, view cube to see what I've made. Right now, I'm going to go turn the canvas off. All right, I've made a mistake. I've got to correct this line and this line. So if I find that sketch, so you've got the eye for bodies, the eye for sketches. I actually need to fix this sketch. So I'm going to click on click on the sketch, double tap, edit sketch. It'll go back into what I just drew. And all I've got to do is trace a line from there to there. Okay, then click finish, which means uh, and now if I zoom over, it's actually all good. Um, I missed the bit in the middle. So I'm gonna go edit sketch again. Turn the canvas on. Yeah, I missed this big white bit here, so I'll do that now. But that's okay because it's a faster to simple shape the trace. Almost done. All right, there we go. Finish sketch this time. Turn canvas off again. Brilliant. Shapes missing in the middle. That's what I want to see. Right, I'm going to select this Q. I'm going to go minus six again so that it goes into my picture. Cut. All right, brilliant. Brilliant. All right, a few more things to do. The white bit. So, Let's have a look how that will work. Select the surface again, create sketch. All right, this will be quick, hopefully. Oh, not quick at all. Okay, just tracing these extra little white bits. I'm gonna turn the canvas off because I can't really see what's happening. All right. So I think the lines are black because they're actually at the edge of the shape. Um, if that's the case, 
I think it'll be fine. We'll see what happens when I click finish sketch, if we can select those areas or not. All right, we've got this shape. This little bit of white, this little bit of white. Turn the canvas on to see what I'm doing. All right, we also need to go from here. Almost done, almost done. Okay, finish sketch. Now hopefully this works, fingers crossed. All right, and I know it works because I can select certain parts. All right. I might go back and select that in a sec. Okay, I've got those bits. I'm going to go uh, minus three because I don't want them as shallow as the red bit, but I want them shallow. Okay, it's like this, minus three. Okay. All right, so now if we look, here's my object. And here's my canvas. Okay, they match pretty closely, except for that one bit. Is that there? No, that's there. Right, so it's pretty boring to just have a gray mushroom. So what you wanna do is apply some colors to it and make it look like it's out of the game. So to do that, I press A on the keyboard. When I press A, appearances, uh, the window here called appearances shows up. So appearances, uh, the default setting for the appearance is a gray material. Now that's because gray shows edges and shadow and light well, but we're going to change that. So here's my default material. Double click or right click on it, duplicate. And now with inside that new little window, double tap, I'm going to select a black for the outside of the object. And now if I drag that onto the object, it changes shape, changes color. I'll do that again, duplicate. Here's my new texture, double tap, select the red, and then I drag it on. Okay, so what's happening though, is that my whole object is becoming that one color. Now there's a way to fix that. If it says bodies and components, and when you drag a texture on top of what you've drawn, of what you've made, the whole thing becomes that color. If you select faces and you drag your color onto just the face, only that area, uh, only that area selects that color. So only that face. So I'm going to duplicate color again, select an orangey yellow for his face. Okay, making sure faces is selected. Last one to make is a white color. Okay. And I drag it onto the white parts of the picture. Okay, so here was my Mario mushroom. Now here and here is my 3D Mario mushroom. Ah, so if you've done, if you've got it to this point, you've done very well. The final thing to do is to take a screenshot. If you're on a Mac, you can press Command Shift 4, drag your cursor over the picture. Oh, that's the wrong one. Here's the right one. So I've taken a screenshot of my character and uh, once you take the screenshot, you've got to email that to me. Oh, and if you're on a PC, go to the startup menu and select the snipping tool and use the snipping tool to take a screenshot. Okay, good luck uh, and have fun.